good morning. Um, it is week 16 of the garden tour. We're in the middle of August in 2020 and um, we've had some really weird weather lately. We're actually right in the middle of a heat wave and so for the next week or so it's going to be about 109 to 111 degrees um, which is crazy. And then yesterday it was supposed to rain um, and it's kind of like off and on all day that it was supposed to rain and that's why we didn't film yesterday. Um, but it never ended up happening, but the air was like very like humid and muggy and stuff like that. And then last night we actually had a thunderstorm and it rained like crazy. And so um, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of like weird things that are happening in the garden right now. It's still really hot and kind of humid. Uh, where we are today, which is very unusual for us. We're in California in zone 9 and so we don't really get rain in the middle of the summer. It's not really humid here. It's mostly dry and so it's gonna be interesting to see you know what's happened overnight and what's gonna happen in the next couple days as it gets really hot. Um, the other thing too is we've been watering twice a day just for like our newer plants just because we are trying to get them through this heat wave. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at everything. Um, some stuff I know how it's doing already, but other things I'm going to be looking at for the first time on this tour. So let's do that. Okay, so the strawberries seem to have survived really well. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this strawberry patch because there's not much happening in here, but they seem to have survived the night. So we'll see what happens in the next couple days. Um, some of our tomatoes though, the plants, I don't know if you can see this, but some of the plants started to fall over. And so these were not down here yesterday. They were up there. And so these kind of toppled over a little bit, but all in all, they're okay. Um, our tomatoes also, the cherry tomatoes have slowed down in production a lot. And then, you know, we already are getting a lot of yellowing leaves and dead looking leaves. And I've been pruning a bunch of them out, but it's kind of just growing and spreading, which, my research kind of shows me is what happens this time of year and so um, they're still going but they're not doing as as great as they were like a month ago which is totally fine we've definitely had our fill of cherry tomatoes and so it's okay if these plants don't last much longer but um, we'll see what happens with them too and if this kind of like disease looking part spreads faster since it's you know super hot and now kind of muggy too and then the San Marzano's are doing okay. Um, they're slowly ripening and we still have a bunch of these on here. So they, they're doing okay. The big cluster of them here. But yeah, you can see even on the, new, the newer plants on the Resurrection Tomato, it's not looking so hot, it's kind of yellow. Um, and so we'll see if they make it, but we got our first couple ripe tomatoes off of this one, so that was exciting. This was a sucker that I put in um, probably like a month or two after the other tomatoes were planted, and so it's doing well. And the marigolds survived the night, and so did basil. So this bed is doing okay, but probably on its last few weeks, and um, we're not going to... We're not going to plant anything new in these because we actually have plans to uh, to actually move these beds and kind of twist them so we can actually fit one more bed in this yard. Um, so we're going to do that in a couple months once most of this stuff is done. And then here's the pepper bed. Um, it's doing okay. Uh, yesterday when I came out here when it was super hot, um, these plants were really, really drooping really bad and I noticed that in some places the leaves were actually falling off the plants and so um, I came out here and I went, did an emergency watering yesterday but you can see all the leaves that have kind of fallen off in the last couple days I mean some of these are older but there are some green ones back there on the ground too so we're gonna get as much as we can the other thing about this is once these leaves, when they like get droopy and shrivel up and stuff, when it's too hot, um, they're no longer protecting the peppers. And so what we're getting is a lot of sun damage. You can see there, 
there's a lot of these that are sun damaged now, especially the bell peppers. Like this plant, for instance, is loaded, but it has all that sun scald on it now. So we're taking these off and we're eating what we can off of them, but um, it's not great. And there's just a bunch of peppers that look like that in here. They don't look great, but I think that might have something to do with the fact that we actually have three plants in here still instead of just one. Um, so the leaves don't look great, but this guy looks super happy. It's about, I think, the size of a of a baseball now, and so he's happy. This marigold is happy too. Um, the other thing that we noticed this week is we had a lot of damage from leaf miners and I did some research and you can see that like little track looking thing in there like the squiggly line and so that was on a lot of basically everything and um, our research showed that it's not really harmful to the plants it's mostly just ugly until they cause so much damage that it basically just destroys all of the leaves and so what I did is I kind of left these alone for the most part but on some of our smaller plants, like the ones over here, where I noticed that damage, I actually took those leaves off just to give those plants a chance to get bigger and kind of fight that because I didn't want them to be taken out when they first got in. And so a lot of what we've been doing this week, especially since it's been so hot, is just babying this section of the garden. But we have our two big zucchini. They're just holding strong. They're a little flopped over, but I mean, they were kind of like that anyway. Uh, the cucumber was completely flopped over this morning and so I kind of tied it up and I'm hoping that when the sun comes out these leaves rotate back again and they stand up straight but we'll kind of see what happens there and they have little tendrils coming out now and so in some places I am looking to get them on the little sticks here and then pretty soon they'll be on these trellises actually like this one is actually tall enough to reach the trellis once it's standing up straight and this one's almost there too so it'll only be a couple more days for these guys and the new zucchini is doing really well um, they survived the night I don't think that these bean plants are gonna make it in time though because they're not growing nearly as fast as these guys and so especially over here I'm worried that they're just gonna get shadowed out like what happened last time even though they were already starts but we'll see and see here's more of that leaf damage that I gotta get off there some of these plants I tried to take off as little as possible but you can kind of see that damage there so they'll do that and they'll basically just keep eating all your leaves and then for smaller plants it's really damaging to them because they're not strong enough to withstand it um, but for bigger plants my research shows that it's mostly just ugly <laughs> and then we took our last honey nut uh, off the plant this morning it had actually split because of the rain last night um, but since I the funny thing that I clipped this um, so that it would stop producing and focus on ripening that one fruit but when that happened it actually put out more runners and more flowers and so there are new fruits on here too so I think there's three that I saw this morning so we'll see what happens with that. This zucchini is doing very well. It's very happy. That's how big it is in comparison to my hand. So, and I don't have much hope for those guys. I don't think they're gonna make it. And, and then over here are kind of test tomatoes. Oh, that's a dragonfly. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Hey dude, eat all the bugs. We've been seeing a lot of bugs, like little aphids and stuff in the last couple weeks too. It's been kind of crazy how many bugs we've had. But we're also getting a lot of dragonflies, which is really cool. So I hope you can see that. And then the zinnias. So yesterday during the heat wave, it was really scary because all of these were completely toppled over, like flower down, leaves down, all of it but the emergency watering seemed to help them and they 
fared pretty well through last night's thunderstorm and it rained really hard <laughs> so I was really worried that everything was gonna be broken this morning but uh, they came through they're still really pretty and I love these peppermint guys here it's so pretty Look at this. all right so that's our garden for this week um, we learned a lot of lessons in this season so far um, just with everything that happens and stuff like that we're just learning a ton and so that's been really cool to kind of see what happens in different situations and also to know that you know some stuff's not gonna go the way that you want but in general we're we're growing food which is really awesome so um, I really encourage you to try it too this is our first year doing this we have no clue what we're doing and so if we can do this anybody can do this <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed that um let us know where you're at let us know where your garden's doing it's really hot out here and it's only nine in the morning so i'm gonna head in but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time